class this time. Um, how are you guys doing? It's Friday night. I don't know if anybody is available to come on and say hello. Um, we will see, right? Hi, hi, hi. I don't see anybody just yet. Um, honey, bring me your phone and I'll see if I can sign on to it. Hello. Um, if anybody comes on, I need to say hello. I know it is kind of late. It is 9.07. Oh, did somebody pop in? Maybe. I'm not sure. I wonder who's here. Are you here, honey? Let's see. Do I have a way of finding out who's here? Hmm. I don't know. What does that do? Ooh, that, oh, look, 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 guys. We could do dance party. That's funny. Oh, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. It's nice to see you. I'm playing with these little effects. Isn't this funny? Let's see. Sepia, silver screen. Ooh, look, they have a sketch. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Okay. Ooh, haunting. That's kind of funny. Silver screen. <laughs> Eight millimeter. Oh, this was back in the day. Huh, that is funny, funny. Bubbles. We could do bubbles. Who likes bubbles? I like bubbles. Bubbles cool? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go back to normal. Oh, I hate being normal. There we go. Anyway. Hey, how are you? What you guys up to? Let's see how to do that. I'll fix that. Okay. Um, I did actually did a video opening my um, boxy charm. And I don't like the way it turned out. I kind of went a little ranty on it. And it wasn't because of BoxyCharm. So that's why I'm kind of like, mm, I don't really want to upload it. Because I was kind of mad at the world, I guess. I don't know. And so um, I, um, I didn't want to really upload it. Um... So I decided that I would probably just go live and show off all the stuff that I got in the BoxyCharm box instead. Um, that way I'm not being rude. You know? I don't really want to be rude about it. Because it really wasn't, it wasn't anything against BoxyCharm. So, um, that bearing in mind, um, I'm sure you guys know BoxyCharm is $21 a month, and it is a monthly um, subscription, and so I will just, I don't know, what do you, do you just want to talk, or do you want me to open the box and show it off, or what do you think? What do you guys think? You guys just want me to show you what all was in it? Do some swatches, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, there's only two of you guys in here with me, so... What do you guys think? Huh? What you think? What you think? What you think? What you think? Oh! We made it to three! Do you guys think we should, um, swatch it, or... Do you guys want me to show all of it? Or what? So here's the paper. And this month was uh, road tripping for July. And um, they did have some really nice stuff in it. Um, I guess we can start with uh, the blush. Let me see the blush. 
Now there's three in rainbow the watch, Sunny. <laughs> Do your thing. Let me see some swatches. Oh, thank you, Samantha. Um, this is the uh, blush that came in it. And it's called Note. And I believe that the uh, retail value is $11.99. Um, and it is kind of cute. Um, let me see. There it is. It is more of um, the brown. I think it's more of like the, the brown clay color. Yes, it is boxy. Yep. I, I did a video on it and I did horrible. Um, I kind of got a little ranty and so I just thought I'd go, I'd come on and show you guys it instead. So, you know, um, and then this little thing, which is really cute. This little thing opens up under, it had, does have a mirror and it opens up underneath it and it has a little brush, which you can see I did use it. You're still waiting for yours? Oh no! I know they did do the, um, the variation as to whether you got the farm something or another, like a moisturizer thingy, or it is very flaky. It does have a lot of dust. Um, or if you got the Dr. Brandt, and I got the Dr. Brandt, which I'm really happy I did because I don't, I'm gonna take off my glasses, I don't, um, necessarily use a moisturizer all the time you can see it which I have natural red cheeks anyway so you know oh sounds like Jojo's here there it is again oh I hear the puppy yep there's Jojo was it the palette or the tart I got the palette I did I got the palette I'm really excited um I think there was variation was the palette or tart spray and then the um Dr. Brandt or the uh farm something like moisturizer or something. Come here and say hi Jojo so that he can go play. Hey <laughs> Let's um, see if says hi. Guys, um look I just got this. It's a new motorcycle. I put this on. This is actually Lloyd, not the guy that I got. But these are the swords. The bike, I put these on. And these. I built it. Yeah. Awesome. That's really cool. Okay. Love you. <laughs> he wanted to say hi. Um, so you already have the palette. So what do you... Jojo, the motorcycle's really awesome. Jojo, Michelle says your motorcycle's really awesome. She did? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. She did right there. See? And then she's, and ja Jamie said, cool toy. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you so much. All right. Mommy, can I have Nice, some Jojo. More? Thanks for sharing with us. Jumping out okay. there again. Thanks. All right. Um, so. Uh, who has the palette already? Um, Jamie. What do you think about the palette? Is it good? I, I I tried it. I mean, I've swatched it and I put a few on my eyeballs um, last night when I was making the um, making the video that I decided not to post. <laughs> um, do you wear it? Do you like it? What do you think? Is it worth it? Um, okay, so that is the note, which is the retail $12, which I didn't put on it very dark because I'm not really a blushy kind of a person. I'm sure in the background y'all hear my puppy whoopee. She's in here huffing and puffing. She ran up from my sister's place with Jojo. So, um, she's gonna huff and puff. <laughs> Hi Paige. It's nice to see you guys. Um okay, so next let's go for the Dr. Brandt, which I was very excited to get. I I wanted this one. And um it's not the best, but I like 
it, those are all the colors I wear. And that's why I got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I could see that. Um, the Dr. Brand has, uh, it says, say goodbye to Puffy and say hello to Youthful. Yay! Monday! Monday, Monday, Monday! Let, tell me what you get on Monday. Let me know which uh, variation you got. Looking Eyes uh, says, no more baggage eye to puffing gel. Formulated with biometric technology, peptides, and botanical extracts. You are guaranteed visibly reduced under eye bags and dark circles. And the eye puffing, yes. And it is, the retail value is $42. It's crazy. I did look, guys. I'm kind of breaking out right there. I don't know why. Um, I don't hardly ever really break out. But when I do, like I broke out right here, like this little scar. I broke out there like six months ago. And right there, like six months ago. But for some reason, in my old age, I have been, like, scarring. Um, so here it is. We'll put some on. It, it is really hard to get out of the tube. Oh, there it is. And it's colored, but it's not. And I read somewhere that you're supposed to... Um, somebody <laughs> I do too, and actually, I you know I used it last night, and today I it my bags look a thousand times better, guys. So there's that, and I'm using the camera as a mirror, so who knows? Anyway, um, probably didn't put. See, it doesn't really have a color once you put it on. So, see all my wrinkles? <laughs> so, you know. It doesn't really have a color once you put it on, but... <laughs> Thank you. I think it's from, like, you know, years of not wearing makeup because I, I've just recently got back into makeup because I... My light went dead. Oh, well. Um, I did not wear makeup for... Oh, man. Probably 20 years. You know, I'd be lucky if I wore mascara. Because I just didn't like it. So, you know. Which is fine. And no bags. Oh, honey, I got... I think that stuff really does work. Because I usually have some pretty good bags. Because I have really fat cheeks. So you can really see the bags when they come in. You know? So, okay, so that is that that we got, which I was so excited to get. I actually got everything I wanted this time, which is kind of funny, because I usually don't get anything I want. usually get nothing that I want. Let me see if this light over here will come on. See if we can put it over here, kind of. So we have a little bit of light from that side. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm full of it again tonight, guys. Um, then I got the uh, Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream, which I don't usually do my eyebrows. The only thing I do is tweeze them because they get really bushy. But I did them last night in this and I actually really liked it. It was really pretty. Uh, this has a manufacturer of $26. So I don't know that I'd pay $26 for eye cream. Eyebrow cream. It has this brush right here on this end which is kind of soft a little bit. It's stiff but soft. Barely got my June Allure box a few days ago. The cat one. Oh, yeah? Really? Is your mail... Well, I don't know. It seems like in the summertime, these boxes have just kind of went with their mailing. It's kind of weird. Like, normally, I've gotten, like, 10 or 15 boxes from by now. And I've gotten, like, five. So, it's really weird. Okay. So, it has the color in this end. So, I'm guessing you only got, like, probably that much product in this thing, I'm guessing. I don't really, you know, know for sure. But there it is. So, 
just put this on again. If you guys have any recommendations when I start putting this on as to how you actually do this crap, you're more than welcome to speak up. Because I am not... What do you do? Just... <laughs> I don't know. See, it looks good. I just, you just paint it on. Can you tell the difference? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing that I don't, you know, ain't like, you know, doing this for my life or something. You know, if I had to go out in public for it, I might be in trouble. If I really had something to hide, I might be in trouble. So, you can tell the difference. I signed up the day you did your Allure unboxing just because it was okay. Yeah, and then I hear... um. Was it BoxyCharm that said that they're going to have some of the Cats products in August? One of the boxes that I get, which is, you know, usually, um, you guys know what boxes I get. Um, one of the boxes that I get said that they're going to have some of Cats products in August. And I really think it was BoxyCharm that said that. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Um, sorry for the TV in the background, guys. Uh, can you see the color on there? But, see, like, I don't see why taupe would match my, my eyebrow color. Because my eyebrow color is like a really dark black. But yet, this taupe seems to actually kind of blend in with it. But yet, I'm horrible at putting it on. But yet, it ain't, doesn't really seem like it's going anywhere else. So, hmm. until where I over tweezed them over here. <laughs> of course, I don't think they're really even either because I'm horrible at it. My son is making waves in the light. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what the light thing is doing, it's him. <sighs> anyway, um, I, I like Kat Von D. <laughs> Um, I believe that she stuck her foot in her mouth. Um, taupe is very universal color. That's going. Thank you. <laughs> um, I believe that she kind of stuck her foot in her mouth and then tried to, you know, she tried to play it off and, you know, act whatever. And then um, she kind of, then she realized that people were serious and really pissed off about what she was saying. And so she kind of retracted her statement. I think, you know, I don't know, but I kind of think that. Um, but yeah. So anyway, so this is $26 from Chella Beauty. I've never heard of them, but it's actually really cute. You know? <laughs> um... Let's see what else is there. He's playing in our light. Let can, I'm gonna try and I've been wondering this. I'm gonna turn on my air conditioner and tell me how bad it it, it sounds to you because I'm really curious about this. Because it's turn like it on. Turn it on. right there. Does it sound really bad? Can you still hear me with it on or can hear it in the mic? That's what I was afraid of. It gets so hot in here though. But eh. um, I will have Jojo go get my fan. My little fan. Okay, where is it? It's in the bathroom. bathroom. Yes, you have to get the um, extension cord and all, buddy. Um, but yeah, it can get a little hot in here. So, you know. Um, I can hear it, but it's not distracting. Okay. Well, I'll have him. He's going to get my fan anyway, so that'll be okay. 
It's heavy. You can plug it in right there. Hand me my fan. I have one of these little bitty ones that I take everywhere with me because I'm fat and I'm hot. So, you know, I will just turn it on. And you probably can't hear that nearly as bad. Uh, let's see. I'll stick it right over there. There we go. Now better. Much better. Much, much, much better. Much, much. <laughs> he is such a dork. He's my dork child. Hey, and, um, oh, look, here's Lulu, guys. There's our puppy dog. There's our puppy, whoopee. Yeah, she's getting less camera shy. Yeah, aren't you, Lulu girl? Huh. She's getting really less camera shy. Yes, sir, yes. Her I loves her Bubba. Yeah. I am her Bubba. <laughs> oh, now she's licking my arms. Her favorite thing to do is lick my toes. She always <laughs> does it. Always, no matter where I'm at, she comes up to me and lick my toes. So funny. Aw, Jamie says hi. Says hello to our girl. She's so pretty. She's our baby. We love her. Okay, uh, let's see. People are popping in and out, so that's okay, though. I know it's a Friday night, you know, so that's all right. Um, so all we have left is the uh, thank you, Michelle. She's my baby. Um, is the uh, where's the palette? The palette. Um, Okay, I love you too, here baby. is what the palette and BoxyCharm looks like. And um, it's by Crown, it's called Crown Pro, which I'm, I'm thinking is the company that does the crown brushes that everybody talks about. Um, so, uh, let's see. I, the mattes are kind of the mattes, you know what I mean? Um, they are real, it has, um, there's this one, this one, that one that's matte. Oh, hi! Jim the Cactus is, um, Katie? Did I get it right? I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm I'm better with screen names than I am actual names. I know that's crazy, but I am. Um, yes, Katie. Woohoo! Hi, Katie. <laughs> You're bad, baby, uh, bad. Um, and then it has the uh, they're they look um spark. They look like shimmer. But to me, they look more duochrome. Be careful, you guys. They look more duochrome than anything. And um, so I will swatch the ones that are shimmery. Because the other ones are just matte and they look just matte. Um, go get your daddy to give you your medicine. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's see. See what I did with my brushes. Mainly use some mascara. <laughs> See, I don't go anywhere. I don't have a job, you know. So I don't have to um, be normal, you know. And I don't have to, you know. Um, but there's nothing wrong with normal. So I can do. I can do the um, mats if you want me to swatch the mats. Do you want me to swatch the mats? Who has the mats? Oh, Jamie, you have this palette, though, right? Jamie has the palette, so she knows what the mattes look like. I use shimmers occasionally when I feel like being super extra <laughs> for mattes, too. Okay, I will swatch them all. Normal is highly overrated. Thank you. Normal is very highly overrated. The palette is the crown palette that came in this month's... Uh, it was one of the variants in this month's Boxy Charm. Uh, that I just got in. So, and I use one of these to uh, switch the color out of your brushes. Have you guys seen these before? I'm probably, you probably have. I love these things. Um, okay. 
So the first one is this really light one and it doesn't really show up on your skin. Let's see it at all. Okay, Jojo quit. We're trying to do this now. Oh, sorry. Um, see, it doesn't really show up. Took it from my sister's. <laughs> I would too. <laughs> Trust me, I would too. I would steal it from my sister in a heartbeat too. Um, let's see. So I'm going to put that down uh, just on the base. He approves. Apparently, he approves. So, that's good. Oh, Whoop. Wow. My, um, my tri I have one of those wiggly leg tripods, and occasionally it just falls over. The kind that you can, like, wrap around stuff. So, when it gets in a mood or it gets lazy, it just kind of falls over. So, anyway, but I always try to put down a base of something. I don't really usually um, use primer and stuff unless it's like a special occasion. I know, right? <laughs> Definitely have a bodyguard. And the puppy's back. <laughs> She's going to be huffing and puffing. Sounds like a, um, like a stalker or something in the background, right? <laughs> okay, so there is the white color, I guess. Um, let me get a wipe here so that I can take these off after I swatch them. Okay, so then there is the this matte brown right here. Um, they're all just variants of brown. Um, so there it is on my finger. And... There it is on my hand. Put a little bit on my eye. Which I don't, guys, I'm not very good. So if y'all guys are looking for necessarily application tips, this probably is not necessarily the channel. Because I still can't put mine on very well. Um, see? Got a big old blend 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 right blend 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 did you get the spencer laurier no i have not but i do know what's in it did you get it yet use my finger <laughs> right so that okay so we did the finger swatch right and then here is the brush swatch of that color so there's the finger and then there's the brush Okay, so I do know what is in the Allure box for July, if you want to know. I have the magazine right there, I can tell you. Um, do you want the spoilers? <laughs> um, then there is this really pretty duochrome color I call it duochrome but it, it might be a different color but I am in love with this color it is right there in the middle this one down here not yet yeah <laughs> but yeah you want to you want to know okay I will get it in just a second all right so there's that color and it kind of is like a peach and yet it's a See how it comes out of red, but yet it's a, it's gorgeous in person. Um, I'm going to need my mirror for that. Uh, let's see. I got help, don't I? One of these days I want to just grab his arms and do all the swatches on him. <laughs> Why is it that we open our mouths when we're trying to put on our makeup? We always open our mouths like it really is going to, you know, make something happen. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I so like that was that, that pretty. 
That's pretty. That's it with the brush. I have no But idea. it's so buildable. I think it's, and it's gorgeous. See, it's really pretty. And it's like um, a brown, but yet it's kind of a coppery pink color. Um, so, all right, let me see. Okay, I have, that's the great thing about the Allure magazine that you get along with the subscription, um, is that they actually have the spoilers in it. I'm surprised most people don't realize that or they probably just don't even look at it because it's not really all that interesting other than the pictures other than the pictures um they have had they did have some really good uh they do have the swag box that is out right now um the swag box, I will say, if you like hair stuff, has the um, the Win uh, cleansing condition and the Win 613 cleansing condition in it. And those two things are like $50 and $60 a bottle because that's what I used before I switched to Lush. So those are worth the $50 price tag for the little swag box that they came out with. My magazine switch out was J14006. I had, um, mine was, uh, Teen Bop. Teen Bop, I think was the name of it back then. Okay, this is what's coming in the July box. And it is a rose mask. Then there is the Olay Whips, which we've gotten in the Walmart boxes um, and the Target boxes. The I'll I will show you in a minute, Jamie. Um, they have a Makeup Forever uh, lipstick uh, liner. They have a Way Leave-In conditioner, which we've had in other boxes. Um, they have a Derma E. Uh, they call it a sun protection mineral powder. That one right there. Um, they have the Sunday Riley um, lotion here. And that, I looked at all, um, Sephora when I was there. And it was like $70 for the bigger. It was a different bottle though. But it was bigger. I have not tried the cinnamon lush yet. I, I got the lemon and I have the um, argon oil one. Uh, and then they have a lip balm right there that's coming in it. And then the douche, douche, whatever it's called, in the blue that's going to be in it. So there's eight products and one of them is the Sunday Riley product which um, is supposed to be super, super expensive. And it really is. I mean, it's like 80 bucks for that jar of that in the store. Um, okay, the other box is called the Swag. And it is, uh, it says allure.com backslash beauty swag is the name of it. It is allure.com backslash beauty swag. And that is that one. And it's supposed to be a $250 plus for $50. And it has a lot. And it also has, um, it has a lot of stuff in it. But this, the 613 and the win is like 40, 50, 60 bucks, depending on the size. And then this win down here is about $49.50 for it. So, and then this is the win comb, which the win comb runs you about $20 to $25. Because it's like special whatever, I don't know. It, it's one mold and it doesn't, doesn't pull your hair and that kind of thing. So those three products from win are are probably $150 of this box because 
they are super expensive. The only thing I didn't like was they show all of these colors for the um, nail polish, but it says down here in the little fine print that you're only going to get one of these uh, nail polishes, not all of them, which I don't like when they do that. I don't think that's fair, but you know, what can you do? And then I believe that you get a whole pack of these eye patches. If I remember right, it's like a 10 pack. Um, I think it's a 10 pack. I don't know. I can't see right now. Oh, my daughter's here. Does she want to come say hi? Yeah. Emma's here. She wants to say hello. She just came in with Mima. There's Sonic. Oh, there she is. Yeah, they went to Sonic and got them a slush. Hi. Hi. Ah, Hang on, it'll take him a minute to show up in the corner there to say hello. I almost fell. She almost fell down. <laughs> She's my baby girl. She's my youngest. Did she you is 10. Anything, <laughs> no, she probably, you weren't here. That was oh, in the shake. That was in the shake. That was, that that was in the shake. <laughs> yeah, it's expensive. Anyway. It's a beautiful mirror. I love it. It's my mirror. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. It's like the mirror, mirror on the wall, right? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> She's gonna steal it. You watch. What? what? Okay, go play. Your I daddy will probably give you a mirror. bite of his if you ask him nicely. Even it is beautiful, I would never steal it. Okay. Anyway. Oh. Kids, they're great. Oh, oh she, okay. she forgot something. Forgot my food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right, so back to uh, swatching the palette. Um, no? Well, go get a cup and I'll give you some of mine. Hi there. I keep cutting in and out. Let me try. I will move you guys on the other side of the table. And that should help. You'll be closer to the um, signal. Because I live in my metal house and so sometimes the signal is really really crazy is that better okay hang on let me give him some of my my shake you'll have to get a your mima is not mean you can walk your butt out of here if you're going to complain because you won't get nothing from me he was at his, at my sister's house down there when she left. And so she didn't know he was here. Okay, go eat that for now. Okay. Anyway. All right. You two need to stop. I am online. They're crazy. <laughs> Thank you. She's my baby. Says I'm also eating. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, so you guys want me to continue swatching this? Let me do that so that when you play it back, at least it's on there, right? Okay. So next we have my light did go out too. I'm sorry. Uh, this one right here. It is another like brown terracotta color and I do have, ouch, that's hot, a little light here that you can see. Yeah. And that one shut up pretty well. There it is. And it is a matte. And there's it with my finger. So actually the brush did better than my finger on that one. So that was good. And the the um the uh recommended retail price on this is $29.99, which I thought was really high for a palette. That's crazy. I look more like I wanna say my dad too. I have my dad's nose. Um I have my mom's cheeks so she has uh, chunky cheeks and um, so um, no. 
he's going to throw a hissy fit because his meemaw's speaking to him and he doesn't think that she needs to tell him what to do. Um, he can get very cranky when he doesn't go to sleep when he's supposed to be. <laughs> so, let me mute this for just a second, guys. Okay, sorry I had to get on to my child. He can be a handful sometimes. Second color would make a nice highlighter too. Um, this one? Or that one I think would make a nice highlighter, probably. Um, he, now he's in there sticking his tongue out at his mima. He is a... Uh, very full of it sometimes. He has um, ADHD and um, he does not like to mind sometimes and he thinks that since I'm online that he doesn't have to go to bed. So um, the next one is another one of the kind of shimmery duochrome ones right there and it is more, it's much brighter. It's more of a uh, copper, copper and red color. Um, hang on. And we don't make him take medicine so he can be a handful. Yes, mine is being a handful right now. His morning medication made him, um, was starting to make him have ticks. So they took him off of it. And so he's been without his morning medicine. So it's not been a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, there's that color. We'll try to ignore them. Um, and he'll go stomping down the street. Can you move that light over closer to here? You'll probably have to bring a chair in for me, please. Um, so there's that. And then it is actually really pretty with the brush too. So it goes right on. So the finger and the brush actually look a lot of lot, a lot of light. And what I, the only thing I don't like about this palette is it does not have any names for the shadows. There is no names at all. So like if you like a, a particular color and you want to see if it's in a different palette, it, it doesn't work out that way. It won't let you. So, ah, yes, there we go. He got us some light. So there it is in the better light. See how it, it, the color shifts? It's actually really pretty. You're going to hear him banging because he's going to throw a fit now. Um, which we will just ignore because we're adults and that's what we do is ignore, 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 right? <laughs> Anybody who has kids will understand that. And we'll do this one next, which is also one of the shimmery um, duochrome type colors. This one is more of a brown color. There it is. And... Uh, We'll put it next to that one and you will see how see how it's more of a brown base than this one's more of a red base than that one. Condos tomorrow. I'll be making money considering getting it. I think you can go on um the crown brush. Yeah, she she's trying to get him to go to bed, Lulu is. Um the um 
the um now he's gonna daddy gonna get him a spanking so um anyway hang on guys Okay, I'm really sorry, guys. He is, uh, he's just having his little meltdown, and he'll be done in a minute. Um, there you go. So, we have the red-based ones, and then we have the brown-based ones there. Um, now he's gonna cry. Anybody else have ADHD kids? I really feel like it's I don't know chemicals in the water or something <laughs> I don't understand uh, kids these days I mean if we acted like that our parents would beat the snot out of us but you know that's not possible <laughs> you are with kids like that he'll be okay I know he's really just he's tired he's really tired he was up let me tell you what guys he was up last night he was up at two o'clock in the morning he was up at three o'clock in the morning he was up at five this morning getting a sandwich when my husband went to work he was up at eight o'clock this morning um it was just i don't think he didn't get sleep last night he didn't get a, a good length of sleep and so it's just been his downfall this whole day is he's had a really rough day um, so there's those colors and I'm going to take those off so we can do the next ones. Um, so, Jonathan, I'm busy. All right, so I got that off. Sometimes they can stain, which I can see why some people use a primer so that maybe they don't stain your eyes as bad like last night when I took it off it, it did feel like it had kind of stained my um, eyelids a little bit because I didn't use a primer but um, that's okay uh, so now we have um, great we get along great until we don't he um he honestly gets so tired that he doesn't know i mean he loses grip of he's so tired um so see i didn't either that's why this is beyond me hang on Okay, um, I these guys can be so. Now his Mima wants to talk to him to see if she can get him to calm down. So we're going to do this one. My son's issue is that he has me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and when he can't have me, then he gets mad. So um, I guess it's the thing about being a parent 24 hours a day seven days a week and then they you know want to always be with you so but there's nothing wrong with him he's fine he's not hurt he's not you know he's just throwing a fit <laughs> so we will like parents say ignore them okay so that is it with the brush I keep trying to put it over here and I see the the video so I can't see if you guys see it so I keep moving it over here I'm sorry 
He just loves it. Yes, he lo Me and JoJo are really, really close, and that's our problem, is we are like this 24 hours a day. I go nowhere without him. He really, you know, goes nowhere other than school without me. And so when he gets in trouble, he thinks that he needs to be with me. And so, you know, um, I thank you for saying, oh, I don't apologize, but I feel really bad. I, you know, I mean, I see a lot of people getting dragged, you know, in comments and stuff because of the way they treat their kids. And I, I love him to death, but sometimes he just kills me, you know? Um, so, okay. There's that, which it does not, I, I don't know. Anyway, which one are we on? Okay, now we're on, so that one was that one. Now we're going to do this darker brown. And there's it. And it seems kind of a little bit chalky. Not too bad, though. I mean, not at all. Like, you can rub it out. See? And it looks really good. So, let's see. There we go. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mocha. There you go. It's definitely a mocha color. Yes. And it looks really good with the brush. See how it just, it fans out much better with the brush. So, it looks really pretty. I, I like that color for a base color. But my problem is, is I have the hooded eyes. So if I put a really dark color on the bottom, or even on the top, it makes my eyes look really fat. So I have to really be careful of what colors I put on the bottom. Um, so it can be difficult sometimes to find the right colors with hooded eyes. <laughs> All right, so that's those call the mattes down there. And then we got one last color on this palette. Um, and you know, I never heard that BoxyCharm has sold. Did BoxyCharm sell out this month? I don't think it did um, yet. So you might still be able to get the BoxyCharm for this month. Um, but I don't, but this was also one of the variants. So I don't know if you would necessarily get the palette so there it is this one is another one that this corner right here it's kind of um a duo chrome color and there it is and it shifts from the dark mocha color from the one next to it to like a golden color a dark gold coppery color yeah, see, John has had, I think he's been diagnosed since he was four. Ben, my second child, was diagnosed at three, and it was it's off the wall. I mean, like, he has medications out the ear. Um, and there's that. So, it's real. this one's really pretty. These are great quality. Oh, just killer quality. Um, I, I was shocked because I hear people talking crap about Crown. And actually, it is really pretty. And there it is right there with the brush. So really not that much of a difference between the brush and your finger, which is kind of shocking with it being a, like a duo chrome color. Very pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. So that is all of the... Um, swatches um let me take that off if uh, there is a color that you missed um and you would like to see i will be more than happy to show it to you again they're all shades of brown except for this one right here which is more of a cream color so and they're not that you know and the it does have a mirror and it does go back like that um, I play around with mine until I find what I like because my eyes, um, 
I have allergies and so some days they're more hooded than others or some days one's more hooded than the other one is and so what you can do for one eye you can't do for the other eye kind of thing. So um, I found that it's kind of harder to do the tutorials on them. Like those people who can do three <coughs> colors. Wayne Goss has some great tutorials. I will check that out. Um, because the people who do the three colors, it's so pretty. But I, I get, I have smaller eyes, smaller almond-shaped eyes, you know. And so, the um, I don't have enough space to fit three colors. And like, I get two colors in, and I'm like, okay, where am I supposed to put the third one? <laughs> you know? It's like, hmm. Okay. So the last thing I got was this Wonder Beauty um, mascara, which I think this is a really cool concept. I've never, I've, I've not seen a lot of mascaras in these, and um, it has a really, it has that dippy brush, it has a little curve in it. And um, I've not seen a lot of mascaras in this type of a bottle, but I really like it because you can put it in there and you can kind of push it against the um, the wand so you get more you can get more product on it, and um, so that you can use more of the product. To me, it would. it would be better than the um, bottles because you can kind of you don't have to s try to swirl your brush around to get the product onto the wand you do you can just stick it in there and kind of squish it up against it and it gets the product onto the wand so I like that I really do like that and it goes on really easy and it does not really clump as bad and I have really short eyelashes because I have thyroid problems so I normally have to put six or eight coats on to actually see it up. <laughs> see, I have no idea how to do a cut crease. One of these days you should show me how to do a cut crease. I'd like to see that. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm still new. But, so there is the mascara, which looks really good. You can, uh, you won't, yeah, you can see it. I try and fail. <laughs> yes, definitely. That's me. I try and fail at everything all the time. It's kind of funny, actually. I, I fail a whole lot more than I actually succeed. Yeah, see, you need to come on and show us how to do a cut crease. One good eye and one bad. Isn't that everything? Like, see, tonight I got, like, no um, blush over here, and I got blush over here so I don't know and that and I always get see my dark circles you can see them in this in this light <laughs> so you know <laughs> um, anyway so the mascara is $24 which is about the same price as all the other mascaras that are basically this size in Sephora and all of that stuff to be honest, that's probably like the going rate, is it not? So that is the, all of that, which I did not, still did not add it up for some reason. I'm a dork. But that is the BoxyCharm. And they have these um, on the back. Pharmacy, that's the other one. If you didn't get the dark Dr. Brent, you got this pharmacy stuff. Um, if you want to go to pharmacy, you can use the charm code, the charm, the coupon code charm20 to get 20% off. And then if you go to the Wander Beauty, which is the mascara, 
you can use the Wander Charm 07 and it is good till August the 18th and the pharmacy the code is good until September the 15th so that is those if you want to take advantage of that <coughs> do my good eye first but then uh, when I go to do my other eye I'm over it right that and part of my problem I, I guess maybe I should get those you know have you seen those glasses that fold down you know I almost think I need a pair of those because I'm so blind that um, I could, you know, wear this one and then fold it down when I do this side. But then I'd probably be hitting the... I don't know how you would do your mascara if you got glasses on. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just... It's a mess. I do want to say, I, I, I didn't see her on here, but... Uh, do any of y'all guys watch uh, Melissa Unboxing Mom? She does unboxing too. And um, she did send me the red variation of last month's um, Ipsy bag. Because pink is my favorite color. And um, she was so kind. She, ha she had gotten two of them and she was so kind as to send me one. So I was very, very thankful to her. Because I got two blue ones and I... Blue's okay, but I'm going to wind up putting the, one of them in a giveaway. And I am going to wind up doing a giveaway. I do promise I will be doing a giveaway. I'll probably be doing two, maybe three, because I am so far behind on that kind of stuff that I feel like I'm never caught up. I mean, I just always feel like I'm never caught up. I don't know why. Well, probably because I'm never caught up. <laughs> Blue is my favorite color. Oh, cool. Well, then when I do our, the giveaways, you have to, uh, thank you, Ann. <laughs> uh, when I do my giveaways, you'll definitely have to enter in to get to win the blue one. Because I will be putting up one of the blue ones um, for giveaway. Because um, I wasn't, but then um, Sweet Melissa sent me the uh, one, the red one. And so I was like, you know, pay it forward. I will give away one of them so that was the crown um and for those of you who do not have one of these that allows you to switch the color on your brushes you can also use this um stuff that comes in your boxy charm box if you use a use your brush and you use a color and you want to you can get it right here um it will take the color see it out of your brush so that you can switch colors so it's a, it's a good use for these I really like this mascara I do Jamie I really do I really like it and I didn't think I would because I'm kinda like a stickler on mascara because I don't have any um, I don't have any uh, eyelashes and it actually makes me look like I have eyelashes. Sarah, yes. I know, right? I've seen it on, um, I think, Anne's show, uh, Anne's channel. That is the Wonder, the, the Wonder Beauty that just came in the BoxyCharm. And right now they have that um, code for 20% off. Of the Wonder Beauty. So, Tarte Spray. Is it, is it the, um, I guess it's a setting spray, the Tarte setting spray that's the other, um, option, to my understanding? Because I, I do have the, uh, I did get the, um, Rainbow Forest, um, cleansing oil lotion stuff that's in the same, the same like tube thingy same tube thingy good lord I am like on it let me tell you I am on it <laughs> oh goodness gracious uh, but it comes in the same package I got the the rain the tart rainforest um, thing Oh my god. That's good. Anyway, sorry. 
Um, and I did, I showed y'all this, right? I got the spray. That I love that too. That's my two favorite things right now. Yeah, I take um, medicine for mine, and um, mine's, mine is still swollen. And they keep talking about wanting to take it out, but I keep putting it off because I don't want to really have surgery again. I've had too many. And if it ain't, if it isn't, you know, um, cancerous, then I don't want to take it out. If it's just being stupid, then let it just be stupid. And you have hypothyroid as well. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have it anymore. I don't know, again, environment, you know, I really wonder that. Because, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, you really didn't see. I've had 27 or 28 surgeries, yeah. Um, you really didn't see hypothyroidism that bad back in the day, I don't think. I mean, you didn't, darn sure didn't hear about it as much, you know? Um, so I honestly think it's more of a, um, environmental thing, maybe? I don't know. I know I need to wash this door so I can paint it, sorry. It's terrible in my background, but I did finish my, um, little, uh, light switch cover there. <laughs> Yeah, I think nowadays all this chemicals and I would love, what are you, what are you painting? I'm going to paint it teal. The color that's on that wall, I'm going to paint it teal. Yes, I do think the testing is better now because I got a, a um, both a um, ultrasound, a CAT scan, and then blood work, and they like triple, quadruple checked it. So, uh, yeah, I think the testing is a lot better now. And I do have dry skin, brittle hair, and my nails break like crazy. I just get them long, and then they break. So, yeah. Yes, I'm going to paint this one, the teal color that's on that wall, and then the door to the room. Um, I don't have a door to the room right now because um, it got broke. And so when I do get it, then I'm going to paint it the pink that's on this wall so that it kind of coincides with each other. I don't know. Kind of an idea. I, I love colors and I just, I grew up, you know, I never got to paint my room wild colors. And so now I always paint my room, all my rooms wild colors. Like my bathroom is red. It's red, white, and black. I love it. And then, um, but the, the, come decorate when we buy our first home. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, I can decorate other people's spaces, but I have a hard time decorating my own because I get, I'm like looking at it and I look at it and I look at it some more and then I'm like, no, nah, I want to change it. And then I wind up changing it and I'm like, I don't like that. I want to change it back. And then I change it back and I'm like, I don't like that. So, at some point, you have to stop. You know, you have to stop and say, just forget it. Because I'm never going to be happy with whatever color it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, um, so I've tried to just stay with uh, not changing anything once I do it. Um, in my, now, in my living room, and like my living room and my kitchen and my hallway are all like this brownish uh, sand color that had the brown undertones and um, I really like it for out there because then I can do whatever color furniture or you know entertainment centers or anything like that also painter on tangerine orange because I was chewing tangerine that's cute. My husband would never let me paint a room orange because he um, he's an OU fan and OSU is orange and so therefore he would never let me have an orange room. <laughs> he can barely handle the uh, we have OSU blankets. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I think we're all weird. I think you got to be weird to be um, a regular on this channel. 
I, I'm beginning to think that because I, I think we're all just a little strange, you know, anymore. Um, but that's okay. Grandpa was a Gator fan, but I don't care about football. I don't really care about football either. Um, my husband is a huge football fan. He played football and he loves football and he will live and breathe the football. So I have to um, make a rule in my house that we only watch college football and we only watch uh, football when his team is playing. Because otherwise it would be on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He's one of those people that can watch like a, a game that happened in 1972 that so and so, you know, did. And I'm like, oh, please don't. Oh, I love watching gymnastics and figure skating. And he, my husband does too. Don't let him fool you if he does. <laughs> it's funny. He, it's really funny that he, do, that he does. Oh, I don't want to spill that. I almost spilled that all over my table. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so it is Friday night at 10 o'clock. What are you people doing home on Friday night at 10 o'clock? Especially to be bored enough to be sitting here talking to me. What are you guys up to? What's your family up to? Only part of the old. <laughs> me too. Although I did enjoy the um, the uh, sprints, you know. I'm cleaning my room. Uh-oh, did you get in trouble? Is that why you're cleaning your room? <clears throat> <laughs> the only time I ever cleaned my room on a Friday night when I was young was because I got in trouble. <laughs> How many kids do you have kids, Ann? How many kids do you have? Yeah, one person I didn't see was I know I just wanted to. Oh my goodness. Well you can come clean my kids. Husband's on twenty four hour duty, so I'm home alone. Yeah, my husband actually came home a day early. He came home last night. So I was really excited. He got home last night. Otherwise I would be um spending some time with him instead of being on here. I spent time with him last night. Um, he was working out of town and they needed him to come do a job in town. And so now he's got to work tomorrow on Saturday, which kind of sucks. But, you know. Um, that, I guess, is life, you know. <laughs> but, for you. Tomorrow, but this time it is for many. Ooh. Yay, military keeps taking mine away randomly. Yeah, that's got to suck. It really got to suck. We, um, I used to have a, a really good friend that uh, husband was in the military and was always gone. Um, I think, uh, you know, you when you, when you marry a military person um, that you really have to be an independent person person in that regards. So nine is late now. Yes. <laughs> My husband gets up at like four, five o'clock in the morning. And so he's usually snoring on the couch by eight. It, it's so funny. That's really good. Um, yeah, he, he, his dad was like that. His dad always went to work at like 4 o'clock in the morning. And so he always used to get up and drink coffee or whatever with his dad. And so, and then every time I, when we were dating, we'd go over to his house. And his dad would be asleep in the recliner every single time. I It, could, it would be like 4 o'clock in the afternoon and he was sleeping in the recliner. And you always had to be quiet because he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but he worked in the hospital in uh, engineering. And then my husband works in um, construction. So, but they are doing, um, they're painting an air, the Air Force Base in Lawton. Um, they're painting something I didn't, I haven't caught yet what they're painting. Um, but uh, they're, they're doing that, so. That's really nice. Um, let me see. 
Um, I did just load my loot crate uh, video, if you guys seen that. That was weird. I sent, um, it's June's box, and I sent it, or um, I emailed, I did not get it, and I emailed them. And they did not mail it until the day after I emailed them. Uh, you know, it's almost like they were like, woo, so far behind in the weeds, I don't know. But does it seem like it's summer and people will, um, does it seem like the boxes are getting later and later? Does it, because that's what it seems like to me. <laughs> we are wild people. <laughs> Yes, we are wild people, aren't we? <laughs> does it, but do, do, okay, do y'all get any boxes, and do y'all think that they're getting later and later coming? Um, because, like, I've, I have not gotten my, uh, Ipsy bags. I get two Ipsy bags. I've not gotten either one of them. I have not gotten Bark Box. I usually get Bark Box, like, the, fourth or fifth of the month. Um, I have not gotten our bark box. Um, the Sephora plate, I have not gotten it. Um, let me see. I'm looking at some of my empty boxes. Um, you know, I am so mad about this. Ricky's Cult Crush. I finally got off the waiting list and I got May's box. You know, that one that yeah, had the, mis the water stuff in it that everybody was mad because there wasn't a palette and um, all of that stuff, you know, that that box. And, um, oh, thank you, Anne. <laughs> um, I, I had finally gotten off the wait list and I had gotten the, the Ricky's box in May. Well, I, I signed up for the subscription service. I never got one in June, and I, f and I know I did because I took a screenshot of when I signed up, and then um, June, I never got a box, and I was like, wow, this is really crazy, you know, why didn't I get a box, and so I emailed them, and they were like, you're not signed up on the subscription service, well, how do you even get a box if you're not signed up for the service, so I got I never understood that fun. Oh, I want one of those. Um, I didn't understand. Yeah, I told him, I was like, how do you get the box and not be un on it, you know? Um, and so they told me that I wasn't subscribed to it. So I had to resubscribe to it so I should get a July box. That makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. That is so sweet that your mom buys you the uh, Allure box. That is awesome. I love that. <laughs> you pay for Boxy. That's so cool. That really is cool. That's really nice of her. <laughs> so that is my thing with Ricky's Cult Crush. And I have not got that month, this month on that one either. Um, I have not... After I got things straightened out with um, Apocalyptic Beauty, I have not got them this month. I have not got Medusa this month. Huh. Um, I have not got Love with Food this month. I've gotten that one. Wow, that's a lot of boxes I haven't gotten, isn't it? That's really weird. I don't know. <laughs> I did order, um, which it, oh, that's so sweet, Jamie. My mom, I love her to death, too. <laughs> She's a lot of fun. She helps with the kids a lot. A lot. Um, let me see. I did order, um, is there anything you guys think that you'd like to see on my channel, box-wise? I did order, um, I did cancel the Hot Wheels box, but I, I believe that I had already paid for July, so I should be getting July's Hot Wheels box for John. Um, 
I'm going to order the uh, Booster Bricks box that's Lego box. I'm going to order that one for him. And, um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I ordered that, the Lego box for John. And then I ordered the um, NBA, uh, the Oklahoma City Thunders um, box for my husband. But they took the money out now, and I don't know if you get a box now and then one again in September. Or if it starts in September. It was kind of weird how it was worded. So I'm not really for sure when I get the first box of that one. It's really early and there was a holiday. That's what I'm hoping, Zoe. Is I'm hoping they'll start coming in now. You know? Because I can be impatient. <laughs> I want to try... Um, oh, I have not got my ear fleek yet. I haven't got it. Um, so that's another one. Except when she boils brushes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Except for when she boils brushes. You know. Oh, thank you. I am thinking about doing some more story time type videos. But I don't really know what to talk about. I find, I find myself that I just find, you know, ramble. And I don't really know what to talk about. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions that you might want to know about, I'd be more than, you know, happy to talk about, um, uh, let me see, um, what else is there, I want to do the, um, I want to do the perfume, I want to try the perfume boxes, yeah, I remember, well, Thank you, Anne. I'm glad somebody likes to listen to me because I don't, I really find that I don't have no way to talk to out here. <laughs> I find that I, you know, and wind up talking to myself sometimes, which is kind of funny. My family thinks I'm weird. So I'll just be talking to myself, you know, and they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, I don't know, nothing. Just talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I do ramble, 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 ramble. That's why some of my videos, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, I'm 20 minutes into it, and I'm like two products into it. Oh, I love Sunny. Oh, I love Sunny. She's so fun. Oh my goodness. I love that angel story. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I love the angel story that uh, Sunny put up. That was really sweet, really crazy. Take the camera and talk to us. I will start doing that because I get really bored. Really bored. Especially, you know, later at night because I'm kind of a night person. More of a morning person. And so I find myself uh, with nobody to talk to, you know. Um, so, you know. I know. It was, it was so neat. It was really a neat story. I didn't know where she was going with it for a minute, but yeah. Goat poop. Oh my god, goat poop. Oh. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, when we first moved here, we, you know, didn't have much money. What do I think about Trump? Oh, Lord. That's a loaded question. Um, hmm. When we first moved here, uh, we um, didn't have much money, and we only had a minivan. And so all of our um, all of our animals, when we first came, our first two or three years, when we first got here, came in a minivan. Chickens, goats, sheep, all of them came in a minivan, which was pretty funny. We even got a baby cow in our minivan when we first moved here. We raised a calf that came in the minivan. So that was pretty funny. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Bay Media. Um, what do I think of Trump? My honest answer would be that he's a politician. That 99% of politicians don't follow through with anything that they say. So... Um, to, yes, he is a businessman, and he is running this country like a business. Um, he 
so he does whatever um, suits him at the moment. And so if it's a good thing for the country at the moment, then he does it. If it's a bad thing for the country at the moment, then he does it. Um, I think that he will do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think he's done some bad things. I think he's done some good things. Um, I don't think that, that a glory hole blinds you. What? <sighs> anyway, um, that is my position on Trump, is that... I don't have to like every president. Um, I don't vote in presidential presidential elections, so there you go. You have horses. I do have horses. I have three horses right now. That hole behind me right there is a doorknob hole on a door that I am about to paint. So, there you go. Um... A doorknob. Anyway, um, our we have a horse named Sylvester, and he um is an old trail horse. He is an old trail horse that hurt his knee and could not um ride trails anymore. Uh, so. The man that had him gave him to my daughter, and um, he brought, it was lovely, he brought him out and delivered him and brought him his favorite food and uh, that kind of things, and so um, he's, he is a gorgeous uh, horse. Um, he's the one of the darker brown ones, if you've seen the picture. Um, that I or the the video that I did he's one of the darker brown ones and he's so sweet you can crawl under him over him on him pull his tail yank his mane whatever you want to do to him he lets you uh, the kids just adore him all of the kids ride him um, which is nice uh, he's he's a very very sweet horse he is older so he does take longer to feed so we do spend a lot of time with Sylvester because the other horses eat really fast and they want to steal his food and so we do spend a lot of time outside holding the bucket for him and um, trying to keep the other horses from beating him up um, the other two um, are my son's horses. Uh, the lighter colored one, I, I don't know their names. Um, he bought them from somebody who was going to send him to a kill, shell, kill pen. And, and so it's a mama and her baby. And so the lighter colored one is the mama. She used to be a quarter horse. She has a tattoo in her lip that has the numbers of whatever she's registered. And um, then um, the baby is a boy, and he is ornery as hell. Uh, my my son has got to take him to get him uh, neutered so that he feels better. Which, if you ask me, um, Miss somebody else needs to be neutered. I don't get super chat feature, thank you, because I am not monetized yet. So, if you want to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos so that I get more video minutes or whatever it's called, hours, then you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel and contribute something to my channel. And then, sure, I'll do Super Chat so that you can pay me to listen to you, Bay Media. Thank you. Well, that's so sweet of you. I appreciate it. I do, hey, Mr. Bay Media, I have a uh, P.O. box down below if you would like to. Go ahead and send me money. I don't care. I'll take your money. You want to give me money? I'll take it. I'll feed my horses with it. Um, let's see. Then um, we have lots of guineas. They are round. You don't see the P.O. box. It, look on any of my other videos and the P.O. box is in the detail subscription. The detail section. Um... Let's see. We have guineas. We have chickens. 
Um, we don't have ducks anymore. Well, thank you, Bay. I appreciate it. I'll, I'm not a, you know, I'll take any contributions to my boxes that you want to send. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's okay, Jamie. If he wants to send me money, then he can send me money. That's his problem, not mine. You know, it's engagement on my videos, so... I don't do this for money. I do this genuinely to speak to other people and to have friends and reach out to people because I live in the country and uh, there's not many people out here to talk to. So I love making new friends and this is how I do that. So, um, anyway, um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Um, did anybody get what happened to my neck? It's called fat. Um, I have a necklace on if that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, I don't care if he continues to talk, guys, because it just counts as engagement on my channel and it ups my channel. So if he bothers you, just ignore him. Um, you know, let him talk. It boosts my cha channel, you know. Um, this, after dealing with hundreds of drunk people in the emergency room as a nurse, if he's not spitting on me, pissing on me, or puking in my pocket, then we're cool. Um, <laughs> so, um... Did uh, did my son take his horse? No, he has not taken his horse yet. Uh, he, I have two of his horses, and he, you know, he needs to come play attention to him. Um, you know, <laughs> but he's always busy, always working. You know, he's a good kid. He's just turned twenty-one in April. He's my oldest, and so it's okay. Um, did any okay? Here's one for you guys. Um, did anybody get the uh, new Thirsty palette from uh, Jeffree Star or any of his new um, summer collection? Did anybody get any of that? Or um, there is the new Manny palette that came out. Um, there's that one. Um, did a... I'm trying to think of what else is really going on. Oh, I'd love to have his blood sugar one, too. Did you see on, on Instagram he did cut a check for $125,000 to uh, the LGBT community there in uh, Los Angeles, which I thought was really nice from his um, equality, his lip bundle. I thought that was really cool. I'm hoping that, that it will stay um, in his collection because I really want to order me one. I love his um, makeup. I hear it's really good. <laughs> I am too, Jamie. I, that's why I get boxes. But I, you know, uh, I love wild colored lipstick. And so um, I'm thinking about getting those. You know, I, I do think he's, yes, he is very generous. Um, I think he's generous sometimes to a fault, but yeah, I really enjoy him. You're going to get the blood sugar? That's so exciting. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get it. Um, I, I want, um... I really like the blood sugar, but since it's a part of his permanent collection, he has not said whether or not the Thirsty Palette is going to be part of his permanent collection. And so I think I'm going to get the Thirsty Palette before I get any of his other palettes, just in case he, um, it's a limited edition, you know, kind of thing. Um, you have blood sugar and Thirsty. Do you like them, Zoe? I've heard nothing but good things about his shadows and his lippies. 
Weapon nudes like a bow and arrow. And Kat Von D. Oh yeah? I have not ever tried any of Kat Von D's eyeshadows. Um, a matter of fact, the most uh, that I've really tried from Kat Von D is uh, eyeliner and a lipstick. So. Nice goals and nudes. Blood sugars I can contribute. Oh yeah. Definitely. See, that's the way I feel about Thirsty, is I love really bright, bold colors. That's kind of my thing. You know, I love purples and greens and blues and those crazy colors. Uh, and especially in lippies. I have not worn my crazy lippy colors in a long time. No, the liquid is in the box. His liquid lips, yeah. Um, have you tried them? Um, and then my understanding, well, I'm pretty sure they're all eye safe too because um, I think Rich Lux uses his uh, liquid lip for um, eye sh shadow. I do love his stuff. I really, really do love his stuff. I I really want to get some of his stuff. I really want one too. <laughs> I've seen I've seen a lot of videos on them. I have not actually gotten any of them, and um, because I'm always buying boxes, but I'm really tempted to. He had a sale recently that I should have gotten. Um, I should have gotten some. Pat McGrath's eyeliner is much better. Oh, th is it better than um, Kat Von D's eyeliner? Or uh, because Jeffrey doesn't sell eyeliner, right? Oh, okay. Did you get, oh, I know, didn't some of the Allure boxes have a liquid lip and some of them had a lipstick? Because I got a lipstick um, in the Allure box. Because wasn't there towards the end they had, you got both. Oh, wow, that's cool. The new Norvina palette. That is really pretty. The new Norvina palette is really pretty. I would really like to have that too. Definitely. Um, I think it's a, it's a nice mix between crazy colors and calm colors. The, oh yeah, that was pretty. That is really pretty. Um, yeah <laughs> definitely um let me see what's some have uh let's see jamie yeah jamie you're more of one of those uh copper eye nude lip girls aren't you as they say right <laughs> i'm not i i'm not being mean i'm just laughing um I think the purple would look cool if I used it. I think so too. Yeah, I think pur purple looks really good with the green eyes. I have um, what you call shit brown eyes. <laughs> so um, I, you know, nothing goes well with my eyes. So I, you know, can paint my eyelids any color I'd like. You know. <laughs> I always wanted to do um, colored uh, contacts, but I'm afraid to put anything in my eyeballs. It's coming on. Excuse me. What is Prime? Okay, I have, I paid the $99 and I have Prime, Amazon Prime all the time. What the heck is Prime Day? Very light blue. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
What is Prime Day? What does that mean? I keep saying Prime Day, Prime Day, Prime Day. What does Prime Day mean? What does Prime Day do? Is it just like one day that's free shipping to everybody or something? Like Black Friday kind of for Amazon Prime. Oh, well I may have to check that out. Yes, blue eyes are pretty. My husband has blue eyes. And therefore my daughter is the only one that got blue eyes. So my daughter got blue eyes from my husband. Mine are light green, sometimes more of an army green. Oh, that's pretty. I have a niece that has green eyes. They're really pretty. Really, really pretty. I wish... I don't know. I say I wish I could have colored contacts, but I don't like things in my eyeballs. So... <laughs> that, and I think that they would have to be seriously colored um, contacts to cover up brown, you know? Better deals on electronics and other things. Oh, okay. That's cool. I, um, that's what I got Amazon Prime for, was I, uh, that's where I got my, um, my husband's cell phone, and that's where we get all of our, like, cell phone cases, and, um, all of our, um, like, all of my camera stuff, my tripods and stuff I get off of there, and some of my lights and stuff I do, um, but yeah, I could never, I could never wear contacts, yeah, no. Um, I've, I've got to figure out how to edit because I have no idea how to edit. I, I, I just do my videos and whatever happens, happens and I pop them online and they're just whatever comes out, comes out. So that's why I think I kind of offend people every once in a while or people are like, oh, you know, you did this wrong or that wrong. It's because I can't edit it out, you know, and, and I'm real, so... You know, the biggest of boxes that you like, which you can't find so many of them. Oh yeah, cool. So now prosthetic. I got to watch the doctor came by. Oh, that is so cool. I had a friend who had a had a prosthetic eye. <laughs> yeah, you better. Courses on. Well, thank you for loving my videos. I really appreciate that because. Unfortunately, since I don't know how to edit, you guys get all of it. You get the, it, you just get me. It is what it is, you know, unless I just flat outright kill the video, it goes out. <laughs> I did that video, that's why I did Boxy Charm on the live, because I, I really murdered that one. Somebody was really rude in my comments that day. And I just really um, wasn't having it. I kind of went off the deep end. And so I decided to uh, delete that video before I got balls and uh, loaded it. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. I really do. Because I, I worry about that a lot, about not um, editing them. You know, because I think some... It holds me back in a way, but then again, um, I don't, I mean, I, the only thing that I would change if I could edit, the only thing that I really think I would change is I could add thumbnails, which right now I'm at the mercy of the, um, thumbnails that YouTube creates or decides should be it, and, um, I would like to have like an intro or an outro. You know what I mean? That That's the only thing that I think that I would really um, edit for. That and maybe if I could um, like do a, do a vlog or something, you know, like when I'm out at the stores or something. But, you know, it, it, it you know, kind of is what it is and I'm, you know, kind of. Thank you. That is so sweet. I really appreciate that, guys. Because that is the one thing that I do kind of feel guilty about, you know, is like here I am like a hundred and something videos in and I still don't edit, you know, and 
I hear that a lot is edit, edit, edit. Why do you put that in? Why do you put that, you know? And I just, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I feel like a dork doing that, but then I think, I'm not going to wave next time. And then I wave. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. That is really sweet. Yeah. I just, I, I always talk with my hands and I don't know what to do with them. And so I wind up waving and my husband is like, what are you doing? Like I'm waving to them. Don't you get it? They're, they're right there. Don't you see them? I, to me, I, when I do a video, I see all of you guys out there. I see all of you guys like right behind, right behind the camera. You know what I mean? I see it's like you guys are just sitting there kind of thing for me. And so I'm all, I do it anyway. Oh, good. Yeah, Peter does it. I didn't know that, I didn't know if Trisha did or not, but I know, uh, I knew that Peter didn't. And so that was always like, well, uh, you know. <sighs> Good night, Anne. It was nice to see you again tonight. I really appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. I know it's been an hour and 45 minutes. It's already getting to the point where my phone's like, hello, you're going to die. I hope not. You know. Peter <laughs> um, Yeah, see, that's what I'd, I would like to do. But the way my phone is set up, if I stop a video, then I have to start another one. And so I can't pick up the video where I left off. Night, Anne. Good night. Sweet dreams. Um, so I can't pick up where I left off. So I would have to put like a video from this morning and then a video from this afternoon and then upload a video from this evening, you know, because my phone won't video them on the same file, I guess. So they would be uploaded separately. And that's the only thing that keeps me from kind of doing random videos, you know? So, that's kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of why I don't do the vlogs. Otherwise, I would love to do them, you know, out to lunch or out to eat or out, um, you know, when I go to Sephora and stuff. I, you know, because no one are, I mean, we're in Oklahoma. Nobody cares if you film out in public there there's like whatever you know um i i i like rich lux <laughs> i do right i do i like rich lux i like uh peter mon i like um i like uh jeffrey star i like petty page um, I watch a few of Karina Kaboom. Um, Rich Lux is hilarious. I love his friend, Lechechus. <laughs> um, he is vulgar, though, so, uh, Katie, you can't watch him. Um, I love my petty page. I love my petty page, yes. Uh, she has not been uploading much lately, and I miss her. <laughs> um... Let's see, Jeffrey Star. Uh, there are some um, like RV cha RVing channels that I watch. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. That's James Charles. I have not watched very many of James Charles. I watched like one or two that um, Rich Lux has referenced, but I haven't really gotten into him. No, I've, I've not watched Jenna Marbles either. Um, Let's see, I watched a few of Tanamojo, which will, um, I don't know, I'll watch the East Bend. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Messy Jesse. <laughs> That's cute. What happened? I, I hear that. I did never hear what happened with Jeffree Star and... Didn't they say, like, Jeffree Star and somebody else almost got arrested today? What happened? Alright, Zoe, you got to spill here, dear. 
What on earth happened? Check out you cut free app to edit together smaller videos to make one and hit save and express in one video. Thank you, Sunny. I didn't even see you come in here, Sunny. Hey girl. I love you. I miss you. Oh, my battery's at 15%, guys. No, Tana. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, let's oh stop it there. Oh, wait, what did I miss with Jeffrey? I haven't been on Twitter today. I haven't been on Twitter either. I, I don't have Twitter. My phone only hold so much crap and Twitter had to go. So I have Instagram, I have YouTube, and that's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's it on my phone because I have so much files of pictures and, and videos and stuff so I cannot have any more apps. So Twitter had to go because I like Instagram because it has pictures. So, oh, where is my phone charger? <laughs> Go search for the Jeffrey T and come back. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ugh. I got a phone cord. <laughs> All right. Yeah, now can I have to get it plugged in? Get it through my. Uh, my rig thingy here. Hang on. It's going to be a little shaky for a minute, guys. I've got to plug in my phone. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, now my, my, oh, there goes my, my thingy. Hey, he and Shane Dawson were filming in a Walmart. So that's who the other person was. I heard there was somebody else involved. So, him and Shane Dawson, what were, were they being stupid or were they just filming? Whoop. Oh, now I'll see. So, evidently the cameraman and Shane were thrown out. It got aggressive. Oh, no. That's terrible. <laughs> what, did, I mean, did, were they being stupid? I mean, because, you know, sometimes people can be disrespectful, you know. Hi, Darcy! Uh, were they just like, you know... Yeah, they were probably goofing off. You got a tripod, Sunny? All right. Hey, puppy whoopy. My puppy came to talk. Yes, yeah, sure did. You came to talk. Because her's a good girl. She's my baby. She is my baby. Aren't you, girl? Yes, you are. Y'all guys want to see my baby? No. See? She come to say hi. Say hi, Lulu. Let me see. Hi, Lulu. Here you go. Yes, her's a pretty girl. This is her blind eye over here. Her's a pretty girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Her's a pretty girl, huh, baby? Her likes it, yes. Her's a good girl. Oh, her's a good girl. Aren't you, girl? Yes, you are. Everybody hears you huffing and puffing down here, huh? Did you get any fresh water? Did Mima give you fresh water? Huh? Yeah, everybody says hi. Yes, everybody loves Lulu. She's getting used to the camera finally, guys. Because usually she runs off. It was Shane and Jeff. Oh, wow, that's crazy. My puppy is jealous. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh that's so sweet, Sunny. Lulu loves treats. <laughs> Her loves treats, don't you, big girl? Yes, her's a big girl. Oh, Zoe says hi, and Sunny says hi. Are you going to look up here, huh? Are you going to look up here and say hi to the girls? Yeah. She, we believe that she is Lab, Pitbull, and some Golden Retriever, they think. Oh. Oh. Well, that's sweet because she loves chews. Oh, my goodness. 
She will flip for chews. Anything hard and chewy, she loves to chew on. Don't you, girl? Don't you, girl? Yes, you do. Huh, baby? Yes? Did you find Mima? Huh? Is Mima gonna put you outside? Oh, see her? Yeah? Yeah? She's a good girl. No, oh, she looks like my American Bulldog. Except for he was white. Oh, yeah? She's a big girl. Big, big girl, aren't you, girl? Yeah. Go find me, Mom. Tell her you need to get you. Need some water. <laughs> She's a good girl. A little training nibbles. Don't you get? Ooh, she'll like that. She will definitely like that. I'm trying to plop this crazy thing back up. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, here she comes again. <laughs> Your puppy's snoring. <laughs> there we go. Picky eater. I was told my pup June. This is the bully sticks. Oh yeah. So she's mad. <laughs> Lulu would be mad too. Lulu would be like, "Hey, those are my sticks. What are you doing?" <laughs> she would probably eat the package. Lulu would be like, uh, "I don't think so. Those are mine, not ours. Mine." You're my mommy. <laughs> Lulu is a cutie pie. She is a nut dog. Oh, did you did you have a doggy go bye bye, Katie? How long is her Mama? hair? Where's Mimo? I think she's in the bathroom. Um, my hair is like um, butt length, <laughs> past my butt. Um, it's it's armor. It's longer than my arms. Like it's longer than my arms. Um, but it's super super thin. I have not cut my hair in twenty two years. I think twenty two years. I believe is how long it's been since I cut my hair. I had him my whole life, but he died last year. My grandpa didn't even tell me he died next two months later. Oh, That's sad. That is really sad. I am sorry to hear that. I love puppies. I, I am like that too. I'm really, you know, I get really attached to them. So I did not really want a dog. But then Lulu came into my life and changed it all. <laughs> she really did. She, uh, I... I did not want another dog, but Lulu changed that. Long life, that was 15. Oh, wow, that's sweet. He was old. I bet he was a good puppy. What you doing, Emma Lou? I am on your live thing. Oh, my daughter is on my live, huh? See, look, and she's on my live. And this is way slower than live. You know what's better than live? What? Being live with you. Aw, she's my daughter. Isn't she cute, guys? Isn't she cute? She's my daughter. She's 10. It just got to the part where you're showing me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's so funny. <laughs> she's such a good girl. She is only 10. Yeah. She's my youngest baby. She's my baby. Yeah. She's my sweetie pie, huh? Yeah. Yeah. She she has a YouTube channel, but she's only allowed to do LPS videos. What? LPS, right? Yeah. Yes, LPS videos. Wish I was ten again. I don't want to be an. Adult. I don't want to be an adult either. <laughs> I don't want to be an adult. Don't make me be an adult. I don't want to grow up. Uh uh. Uh uh. I never want to grow up. That is mine, Jamie. Mine falls out a lot because of my thyroid. It breaks off a lot. But I I decide... Now, I'm going to tell you. When what? I finally lose all my hair and I have to have my hair short, this will be every color of the rainbow. Oh, jeez, that light. Meemaw's back the in lights. here, too. The lights. Clock is ticking the for me. I was telling until I turn 18. Oh, Katie. How oh, cool. Oh, okay. She's coming to get her baby. They're going to bed. Night-night, guys. 
And Emma and Mima share a room. Because she is Mima's baby. And that's, yeah. I'm a werewig. <laughs> I wrote green last summer. I miss it. I'm going to, when mine is finally, you know, get so um, brittle and bad because of my thyroid and I have to cut it off, I am going to wear every damn color of the rainbow every time you turn around. Pink, blue, purple, green, yellow, orange, I don't care. Hell, I might even do a rainbow mohawk. You know, when I finally lose my long hair, they better look out. Because I'm just going to go wild. Wild. Thank you. She is my baby. People shoot during the winter. I'm trying to stop adulting, but people keep making me. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be an adult either. I don't like adulting. I try to do it as little as possible. <laughs> I had um, pink um, extensions. I did pink extensions for a while. A couple of years ago. That was really cute. And then... Um, ooh, that's pretty, Katie. And then um, I do... Um, occasionally I will do a um, purple or a pink up here where I'm gray. You know? And then it washes out, and then I'll leave it gray for a while. And then I will put it back in, and it'll go purple or pink. I usually do purple or pink. That's the ones I do the most. I did a um, really dark blue, uh, like six or eight months ago. That was really pretty. Really pretty. Um, but I don't, I don't know, I kind of don't like going that dark. Because it made the rest of my hair, like, black. Lavender. Oh, that'd be a pretty color. That would be really pretty. I want pink and purple. I love the um, the ones where it looks like like regular color on the top, and then you like turn it up, and um, it's got the uh, colored rainbows underneath. You know, um, I did. Yes, you're right. Extensions are too short for my hair, but they gave it some really nice volume. Uh oh, now my cell is worn me. I'm down to 15%. I know, Sunny, I had to plug mine in. I got my uh, extension cord running across the uh, room now because I had to plug my phone in. <laughs> but um, yes, me and extensions don't, because my hair is like over two feet long. Um, see, it's all pulled back and then it's all braided up. But, um, and so to get extensions that match my hair length is like four or five hundred dollars. Here, I have fun on every. Yes, it does, Sarah. When I was a nurse, I could not have anything but regular people colored hair. And that's why um, when I got sick and retired, I said, screw it. And I, I've done every color of the rainbow so far um, at some point. I just don't bleach my hair. That's where I draw the line. I will lighten it a little bit so that you can see the color more. But um, I will not bleach my hair because it would fall out. It, because of my thyroid and the way it is. My hair would fall out in a heartbeat. Yes, I am an RN, Darcy. Um, I was an RN. Um, I was an LP. Technically, I was a nurse's aide when I was 15. And then uh, when I was 16, I became a certified nurse's aide. When I was 17, I got my medication aid license. Um, and then when I was 18, I got my LPN license. I went to nursing school and got my LPN license. And then it took me 10 years to get my RN license. And then I got my RN license. And I did that for six or eight years. I can't remember. Honestly, I'd have to figure it out. Um, and I was an RN when I retired. I uh, worked in the ICU um, when I finally uh, got too sick to work. I was in the ICU. I was work. I was working in the ICU. Uh, 
Yes. Well, that's cool, Darcy. That is awesome. Um, yeah, I, I loved helping people. I really did. Um, optical illusion. <laughs> that's so funny. I, yeah, I did, um, when I was an LPN, I worked in the, uh, bone marrow transplant unit and the, um, uh, oncology. And then when I got my RN license, I um, did a little bit of ER, didn't really care for it. Um, the, the women were mean. And um, so then I uh, got into ICU and did ICU and uh, um, after uh, by heart bypass surgeries uh, and heart transplants. I did that for a long time. And then that's where I retired from. Took all the classes. And started the nursing part, and I got sick with rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm nursing all my surgeries. My stays would have been so much. Yeah, I I was fun. I could not stand to be a dumb stick in the mud. Can't go to the surgery for the hospitals because the smell makes me have panic attacks. Me too. Oh my goodness gracious. I you know um. I to this point, I think I I think I we did the math a few months back, and I had had like 27 surgeries. That's not including the, um, when I had my wound, they, um, did, a they did, um, conscious sedation to change my dressings. And, um, I did that for six months. So, that's not including all of those procedures. So, I've had a lot, a lot, lot, lot of stuff done. I had, um, cervical cancer three times. I have a uh, tumor in my head that is inoperable, and I have a tumor on my spine that is inoperable, but they went in and filled it um, to stabilize it, so uh, my back has been fused, um, and uh, I've had um, like little stuff, like I've had my gallbladder taken out, um, I've had several back surgeries, um, I broke my foot. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid. Um, so all kinds of crazy things. To permit so into law school. That is so funny because to be honest, I was going to be a lawyer. Yeah, I went to nursing school and that's why it took me so long to get my RN license. Because um, I actually started to go to law school. But I could not um, be sick as I was and still go to law school. So I could not, um, so I went back and finished my RN instead. Yeah, that is awesome. And then I was gonna be a teacher, but I decided against that. <laughs> no. Uh, I wanted to be a nursing teacher, actually, but I couldn't do that either. I my back, fusion surgery, and decompression, and then the end of my head at the same time when I was two and almost died, yeah. Yeah, I, Katie, I understand, um, too. I was, uh, like 21 when I had my first back surgery, I think. I was 21. Um, I, um, my mom says that my husband ruined me because till I turn all the way up to age 18, I had never had a surgery, never been put to sleep, never had a broken bone, nothing. And then I got married, and uh, my health went just tanked. I Everything I've had done to me has been since I got married, since I turned 18. So my mom always says that my husband screwed, messed with my health, that he has to be poisoning me. <laughs> but no, he's not. I've always had good health. I'm sorry to hear that, Katie. I uh, I had good health my first 18 years, so you know, I know that. But I don't know if I would rather have had good health and now have bad health than to have had bad health all along. Because I um, if you know, if you don't know what good health feels like then you won't necessarily miss it, I want to think. 
But, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's kind of crazy and stupid. Um, but I miss being healthy. I really do. Um, I miss not having a ton of medicine and not having to worry about uh, making sure I have refills and making sure that you uh, go on vacation around the time that you can uh, get your medication refilled or, you know, you can't just go out one day and decide not to come home for two days. You can't because you left your pills at home, you know, or whatever for that matter. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. <laughs> You're always having to plan those kind of things. Plan, plan, you know, I have to go to the doctor every month, so I can't, you know, just leave and stay gone. Storm supply merges, yeah, exactly. Um, I, yeah, I, that's my thing too, is, you know, you can't, you know, some people, oh, I'm going to go stay in, you know, Paris or France or whatever for a month or take a three week cruise or whatever, you know, I would have to time that around my doctor's appointments. So, you know, that kind of sucks, but, you know. As long as you, uh, what month is your birthday? My birthday is May the 2nd. <laughs> um, moving. Sorry. The only way to fix it is surgery. Oh. I have a, um, what's called a, uh, hemangioma. And, um, I have it behind my in the middle of my head behind my eyes back here that's where mine is back that back here is where mine is oh cool all these may babies ha <laughs> we have almost a birthday a month in my family there's only like two months out of the year that there's no birthdays um but mine's the only one in may that's so cool. Why we get along with how I that was like. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, February. Uh, JoJo's is in February. JoJo's is February the 7th. He's a February baby. He's cute. February 2nd. Cool. He's waiting on Katie to see if she replied to say what that was. Uh, January 14th. Uh, we don't have a January in our house. But there, my mom's is July the 1st. Um, one of my nieces is June the 6th. I have a niece is June. Um, here's this February the 14th. Cool. That's awesome. It would be neat to be a Valentine's Day baby. My son Joe was due... Was he due on Valentine's Day? No, he was due like the week after, I think. I had another baby that was due on Valentine's Day that did not wind up happening. Um, but yeah. Wish I got a better holiday, though. Heading to bed. Have a Good night, really. Good night, you all. Good night, Caution Friday. I don't know your na real name, so good night. Have a good night. Night, night. <sighs> Doctor Summer, so oh, he had Mrs. Dinner plans. And he would try to tell she was in labor. <laughs> my daughter was that way they were like you're not in labor you're not in labor and I was like mm, uh, yeah watch me <laughs> you know because I, I, I had never went in labor before all of my children were induced and then my daughter decided to come on her uh, baby shower day I woke up that morning and I was like no nope, this baby's coming today <laughs> so there was an 
Oh, Sunny, do you have a baby of it February 7th? That is cool. That is my JoJo's. Off those couple days late. I was a month and a day late. I was supposed to be an April 1st baby. And my mom says I was the biggest April Fool's joke. Because that was my due date was April Fool's Day. And I came on May the 2nd. <laughs> my sister, all of her babies were late. Always three, four weeks late. Every one of them. And she had five. Um, oh, how cool. Almost two months early. Oh, yeah. Wow. That, that's rough. Um, Emma was early. Emma, all of my children were early, except for my oldest, and he was on his due date. The rest of all three of the other ones were early. Um, Emma was uh, sewn in, but she was still early. Um, she was not not due yet. Um, she she was the worst of my pregnancies. She was the worst. <laughs> my mom we all had pretty fast labors uh, you know considering one of my dad's birthday oh that's cool that is so cool I bet you were a good birthday present huh we got married on my husband's birthday I want to make sure he'd never forget <sighs> <laughs> oh, that is so cool, Sunny. Oh, a great grandma. That is exciting. I don't want oh I don't want kids pregnancy sound awful, but we're not even sure I can have kids. Yeah, I I know how that feels, Katie. Um Seven weeks early and only three pounds. Yeah, I had big, big, big problems getting pregnant, big problems staying pregnant, and yeah, it was pretty rough. It, it was, you know, it was darn right brutal sometimes. So I can, I can understand that. I really can. I have a lot of angel babies, and um, so. I definitely know how that is. She was almost six pounds. <laughs> uh, I had my smallest baby was seven two. I think my daughter was seven two. She was my smallest. Cut drugs. Oh, I made sure I got epidurals every time. I was like, oh no, you don't. <laughs> I am not having this. I get drugs. <laughs> There's no way I would ever have had another kid without drugs. My sister did it all with no drugs. My mom did it with no drugs. But no, no ma'am, not happening. Not me. Nope. I'm a wuss. I gotta have drugs. <laughs> I can't. I don't like pain. Oh, that's cool, Katie. That's awesome. That's real, always really neat. The angels. <laughs> the, the wonderful thing about modern science, right? That's wonderful. 6.4 pounds. That's cool. My daughter was... She was born... Uh, I think she was 7'2", but she lost like 2.5 pounds before we even left the hospital. She was tiny. She was always tiny um, until she broke her arm and then she had surgery. And when she had surgery, she started getting really chunky. Um, but she's slimmed down quite a bit now. Um, she's starting to get slimmer again, um, which is good because I really didn't want her to get too chunky. <sighs> I don't know what I would do without drugs, Zoe. <laughs> Somebody's running around. Oh, it's Daddy. What are you doing, honey? You better go to bed. You got work tomorrow. I don't even know why you're up. 11.25. Oh, yeah, that was me, Jamie. I was like, 
they were wheeling me and I was like, uh, y'all better get that stupid person with the epidural because I want one. Oh, those are funny, Michelle. Have you watched, um, the Try Guys? I think their name, their na yeah, that is their name. They're on Facebook. Uh, they do too, have a YouTube channel too, I think, but they're called the Try Guys. They're hilarious friends. Oh my goodness. You know, Sonny, my mom and my sister both had big babies. All nine pound babies. Uh, so, yeah. I had little babies. My my mom and my sister both had big babies. So, were you, all of mine were like, oh no, we got to find clothes to fit these kids. <laughs> Definitely. My mom and my sister both always had nine pound babies. And so when my babies came out in the sevens, they were like, we got to go buy some clothes for these babies. We have nothing to bring them home in. And then my daughter was so tiny, she lost weight. And so she was in like preemie clothes forever. It, she was so cute. She was like a little toy. She was so tiny. Oh my goodness. 9 pounds, 14 ounces. That is crazy. I think my sister had one that was up there like that. 12, 22 here. Oh my god, Zoe. It's late. You're going to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> she turned into a pumpkin at midnight. Jane. Oh, okay, so Michelle, you're Jamie? Is that right? I'm gonna have to keep a list of this because I'm doing terrible with names. I should have a pen or a pencil or something. Yeah, no, I couldn't either. And my mom and my sister both had them natural with no drugs. Not this chick. Heck, my sister had my niece beside the road. I, I did, um, I delivered my sister's baby beside the road, her last one. And she was nine pounds, I don't know, eight or ten ounces, something like that. And she just popped that sucker right out. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I know, but hell no. Not happening. There's no way. I could not do that. Yes, Sunny's in Hawaii. I know, right? Lucky girl. Go watch her videos. Oh my goodness. She showed us around. Um... Oh, where did you take us today, Sunny? Extremely tiny person. Oh, poor Nino. You're such a cute little one, aren't you? I want to go to Hawaii. I know I want to go to Hawaii so bad, but I don't want to fly, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to take a cruise ship to Hawaii. Hour, I'm just getting started. Oh, you're like me, huh, Zoe? Stay up late. <laughs> when I had Rachel lay, say, 13 pound boy breach, not at. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy, Sonny. Oh. <sighs> that is crazy. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> My goodness gracious. I'm going to get me a list. You guys wait. I'm going to get me a list and I'm going to write down all of y'all's names. And I'm going to put them up here and make sure I got them right. <sighs> he looked like he was three months old. That was my nephew. He came out and he was just back. Oh my gosh. My sister had my nephew and uh, she was just turned 16 and I was... 13. Best birth control you ever seen. My mom stuck me right between her legs and watched that baby come out and I swear to God I would never have sex. Best birth control there ever was. I was like, oh no, ain't happening. My husband had to convince me to have kids. He's like, y'all are crazy. Ain't nothing coming out of me like that. <laughs> Since 1975. Oh my goodness, that was two years before I was born, Sonny. Sorry. 
That is so exciting though, Sunny. That is really cool. Where did you come from originally, Sunny? I am jealous too. Super jealous. My mom got permission Yeah. My mom set my butt on a chair right behind that doctor and was like, you're going to watch that thing come out. Ooh, no. Dubuque, Iowa. Oh, cool. S Middle America. <laughs> that was really Middle America back then. I'm sure it was rural. Definitely rural. <laughs> you're right. Oh. Dad was a navigator in the Air Force. Came out walking, right? <laughs> How the heck did you end up in Hawaii? I married Air Force when I was 19. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sunny. Her hubby is Air Force. Thank you for your service, like always. Gotta love our military. Definitely. That is so funny. Is it really hot there, Sunny? Far East and Iran. <laughs> yeah, I... I my mom actually calls me Diane, not Diana. It's so funny. She, she's never called me by my right name. And she's my mother. Go figure that one. My husband always makes fun of her. <laughs> All right, Sonny, are you spamming people? <laughs> Bad, bad girl. I know, I used to, um, when I first started at Sunny, I could not do videos over 15 minutes long. I never could figure out why I couldn't do videos over 15 minutes long. And then I figured out that I had to go, um, verify my account or whatever it was that you have to do and so I was really excited when I started to get to make videos over 50 minutes long because you know me I talk you know like this non-stop we've been on here two and a half hours guys and so yeah I was like oh my god you know I can't talk with 15 minutes so I was really happy when I figured out how to get longer than 15 minute videos <laughs> Because I love to talk. I know, it's crazy. But, I do. I always talk. It's terrible. Ramble. On and on and on and on and on. <laughs> no letter yet. Oh. Oh no, did you send something? It takes forever to get mail to Hawaii. That is so cool, Sunny. But I know it's expensive to live in Hawaii, so I cannot imagine living in Hawaii. I live in Oklahoma, which is one of the cheapest places to live. And they're home tomorrow. Okay, Sarah, you be careful, be safe. Don't hurt your back. Good night, Sarah. Oh, mine is still saying it. Battery is low. Oh well. If mine cuts off, it's because my battery is low. I got it plugged in, but it's still beeping at me saying I'm low. I had too much fun though. <laughs> Why would I want to get off? <laughs> my phone's always. I have a big phone. 
one of those bigger ones and so most people have two jobs that is sad to live in such a beautiful place and to have to have two jobs and never get to see it that would really suck but I don't know that I I would probably take a long vacation to Hawaii but I don't know that I'd ever live there because you couldn't really travel you know I mean it ain't like us here in the States where we um you know can hop in a car and drive to 40 other states you know Let's see. <laughs> yes gas prices gas prices are high almost everywhere but here in Oklahoma we have several gas lines that go through here so we usually have pretty cheap gas yeah I was wondering that too Sunny have you been affected by the volcanoes and stuff I was going to ask you that, and I keep forgetting. Where did my Sunny go? I don't think Sunny types very fast. Here she is. Can you swing someone else who's trying to do something? Yeah, I know. I'm so sad for you, Sunny. I'm so, so sad to hear that. Who? So sad. <sighs> Sunny, what are you cooking for us next week? Don't you cook for us on Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Low battery. I see your phone, but I'm not, I'm ignoring you. My phone keeps saying low battery. <laughs> no, I'm type slow. Um, get the fog one over here. Oh yeah? Well, I'm glad you're not affected by the volcano, so that's cool. But I guess it would be, to me, it would be hard to live in Hawaii because then you couldn't travel a lot. You'd have to fly everywhere. I, mean, I don't like flying. At all. Nope. I'd rather drive. Monday story time. Ooh, sounds fancy, Sunny. That's cool. Love road trips. I love road trips. Oh my god, I love road trips. We go on vacation like a ton. I do want to cook this one. Ooh, why don't you cook us something? Um, she cooked yummy peach cobbler. Ooh, did she? Oh my god, Jamie, that sounds so good. That's so good, peach cobbler. Oh my god. I want something Hawaiian. Cook us something Hawaiian. I know that's so stereotypical, right? <laughs> Going to Sunny's house. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all fly to Sunny's house. Yes. That's why I like living in Oklahoma. Because we get, we're about two days from Florida. We drove to Florida and took two days to drive there. Um, we're about two days from California. We drove to Nevada. We, we kind of drove like five miles into California and then came back out so that we could say we've been to California. You didn't wash your Ooh, cook me something Hawaiian. Easy to cook though so I can redo it. I want to I wanna cook something Hawaiian and think about you, Sunny. <laughs> But yes, I love road trips. We watched, um, we watched, we, uh, we drove to Wisconsin and then over to Chicago and then back home last year for our two and a half week vacation. Um, we, this year we went to Padre Island for, uh, eight days. Um, but next year we're thinking about going and taking our, um, vacation to Florida. But we took out time on my back, so it was three days. Yes, see, that's what we did, too. Yes, Alabama's can be high taxes. Yes. 
We when we went to Wisconsin, because um, we drove straight up to Wisconsin the, when we went there, and we spent um, ten days there, eight ten days there, and then we drove over to um, uh, Chicago, and then went, spent a night there, and then we came back down from Chicago back to Oklahoma when we went. So because uh, we had never been to Chicago. Which was fun, but it rained the whole time we were there. It went rainy season, so I wish we hadn't done that. But at least we got to go, and the kids got to see the big buildings and the Navy Pier and all that was really cool. So that was nice. Um, anyway. Card pop, I feel with recipes. We do have a drawing for the form. Oh, that sounds so cool, Sunny. The only big cities I've been to are Memphis and Nashville. I've been to Memphis um, three or four times, but I've never been to Nashville. Oh, you did Sturgis? I'd love to do Sturgis. Sunny. Oh, that is so cool, Jamie. Never again without a trailer. <laughs> that is funny, Zoe. Um, so did you ride a motorcycle? to Sturgis or did you uh, just take a car? Um, I don't drive through Nashville, just don't, it's insane. I have not, um, yeah, I have not been that far uh, east. I have not been to Nashville. I've been to Memphis, and then I've been past Memphis a little bit to uh, my husband's uh, brother and sister-in-law's house, but I've not actually been past that. So, um, well, I guess other than we did, we went to Daytona Beach when I was a kid. That was the last time I went to Florida. Um, then, but since then we've been to Alabama and Mississippi, but I have not been, um, past that, really. Um, we're wanting to go to the NASCAR race in North Carolina next year. I think it's North Carolina, I'd have to ask my husband. Um, but we've been going to several, uh, or he's been going to several NASCAR races. My Anxiety and panic attacks will not allow me to do that. So we tend to find um, a water park nearby. And um, so I don't, um, so that I don't, and then my sister goes so she can go to the NASCAR race with him. And then I can go to the water park with the kids. Oh, that is cool. You've never been out of Phoenix, Jamie? Oh, I'm so sorry. That's terrible. <sighs> I love to travel. It is like the... Oh, oh, if I couldn't travel, I don't know what I would do. Um, we go on... Oh, last year went on 15 vacations. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, so, half of them were to Branson, Missouri, you know, um, but still, you know, it was fun. We, we did we, long weekends. Uh, at least once a month last year. F yes, Phoenix is way too hot and too dry. The, oh my God, I am hot now. I cannot imagine, imagine being in Phoenix. Oh man, that's crazy. No. 37 is stuck in hell. <laughs> oh, Jamie. <laughs> it's expensive, but now I'm worth sending money to do it. Yes. I love to travel. I that that is the one thing that we we have always done, and we instill in our children as a travel bug. Bug. I have itchy feet. That's what I always say. I have itchy feet. I cannot stay in one town, one place, one thing all the time. I mean, granted, I don't like to move. I don't ever want to move. I hate moving. I don't want to move. But I um, love to travel. 
hand me your tube page so we can all stalk you. It's Sunny, Sunny Rudder is the name of her YouTube page. I can tell you that right now because I watch her. <laughs> it's the same as her little handle there. Just click on her page. <laughs> that is her. Go check her out. She's so much fun. I love Sunny. She's so sweet. So kind. I love watching Sunny. She makes me laugh and she makes me cry. Her angel story. <sighs> You're so fun, Sunny. We love Sunny. That is so sweet, Katie. Thank you for subscribing to her. I love her. You know, Sunny, I, me too. I'm so fussy about the name, but you know, guys, I kind of made it permanent. I got the, um, YouTube, um, they, um, they will only issue, like, your URL, your, um, your address one time. And so, yesterday, I went in and, and finalized the name of my channel. I'm so, so, uh, excited and nervous. I can never change the name of my channel now, guys. It's always going to be Crazy Chick. Because I, I got my, my URL, my permanent uh, YouTube address so that I could link it in my other stuff, you know, and so my, my YouTube name forever will be Crazy Chick. You know, Sunny, until Peter, um, until Peter, um, changed, until Peter shouted out my channel, I didn't have crap for subs either, and I'm so incredibly thankful for, um, what he did for me. I can never thank him enough. My name is Diana Church is my real name. It's Diana. Um, and my, my uh, YouTube channel used to be my name, but then um, my family was like, oh no, you can't really, don't use your name. You know, and so I changed it. Um, but it used to be Crazy Chicken Ranch, actually. That's what it was first. And then, um, we're like, well, we have more than chicken, so I changed it to Crazy Chick. Thank you, Katie. Yes, it is. It is, uh, one of the goddesses. Diana is, uh, one of the, um, the, uh, oh, I can't remember, um, yes. I have, I cannot, um, they do not make you wait a year, but you have to have a thousand subs, sub, uh, subscribers, and you have to have 4,000 hours of watched time. And I have like 500 hours of watch time right now. So I have to, um, now I'm just working on keeping my subscribers and, um, getting my watch time up so that I can get my partnership which doesn't mean really anything I mean I probably you know the stupid AdSense thing or whatever I'd probably only make like five dollars a month or something stupid but it's like a rite of passage kind of thing you know um, I really would like to get my subs more so that I could get more um, so that I could get more um, boxes like people would give me boxes for free to get to open that would be nice but um other than that no my ig name is diana church dot 52 um that is cool thank you katie uh let's see what were we talking about watch them sunny um you go to the help the way i find i find it every time is you go to the help page and then you ask it, um, how do I find out how many watch minutes or whatever I have? And it'll have like a link and you can click on it and it'll take you right to it. And then it'll show you in minutes and you have to figure out how many hours that is. 
that's how I do it because I don't know the exact place to look for it. So I always just go to the help page and ask it, how do I, where do I find my watch minutes? And it'll come up. And so, and it's really neat. It's got a bunch of analytical junk on there like that. And so I'm just hoping that I don't drop below a thousand subs because like I've lost, I don't know, like 80 subs in the last month. I hope, that's why I always say, ask people to subscribe to my channel because I, I've been losing some. I guess, you know, people have come from Peter's video that don't stay. You know, I wish they would just leave me on and just forget about me if they don't want to watch me. But, <laughs> you know, um, that's okay though. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate that. Uh, that that's my only fear is I don't I I really don't care if I get huge or get you know, oh my God, YouTube famous or whatever. You know, I don't care if I ever get over five thousand subs. I just would like to be in a place, number wise, that I don't have to worry about having the partnership thing. So I don't have to worry about ever losing um, my channel or anything like that. You know what I mean? Um, I That's the only thing that I don't want. I, it's not that I want the, um, don't have a math kit. <laughs> I say that all the time. <laughs> math was my, one of my worst subjects. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, it's, I, that's why I always say, um, ask people to to sub to me or to share my videos because I I would like to get to you know say 2,000 subs that way if I you know dip down or anything I'm not in fear of losing all my channel stuff um, but other than that I'm good you know science is my best subject yay Katie good for you <laughs> People are my best subject. That's why I was a nurse. Um, math is okay. I mean, I can do most math. My my son brought home some geometry, though. Or, uh, yeah, some geometry. And I thought, oh, my God. Um, I can't do that. And then um, I was going... I went to pre-med. But once I found out all of the chemistry that it was involved... I um, quit that real fast. It's like, no, I can't do that either. <laughs> so chemistry and math are not my strong suits. Geometry. <sighs> I love Peter. Oh my God, 112% geometry. Wow, awesome. You got a PP shirt? Oh, PP the Flying Chihuahua is my favorite. Oh my goodness. Did you see him in the banana suit today? That was so freaking cute. I loved PP pee -pee in the banana suit. I love him in his little curly wig. I just love PP. Pee -pee. I'm always ever I think on every single video that he has PP pee -pee in, I always tell him that I love PP the flying chihuahua. Even though I spell it wrong every time. I know I've said that too, Zoe. I said I don't oh my glasses on, I don't do math, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that and I said, I'm always saying I'm YouTube famous to my husband. He's like, what? Tucker too. Oh yeah, Boo and Tucker, they're so cute. So cute. I'm sad though that PP is sick because sometimes the way uh, Peter talks about PP is that he's not going to be around very much longer. And it's really sad. You can tell that it really bothers him. So it, that's why I enjoy PP, pee -pee, and I think that's why he always keeps PP pee -pee beside of him most of the time. Ugh, my battery killing me. Ugh. Anyway. Alright, guys. My phone does not like me. He is so cute, Zoe. I do too, Sonny. Uh, I think Peter's going to take it worse than anything in the world. 
I think Peter's going to take that really hard. Um, yes, definitely so. I hate to say this, guys, but I think I have to get off here because my phone keeps telling me that it's going to die and it's at like 2% and I'm afraid that it's going to cut off in the middle of our conversation which would be terrible. PP <laughs> is his baby. Oh, and I love PP too. PP is my favorite. Don't let Lulu hear you say that. Hi, Emmy loves makeup. PP is YouTube famous now was Alex's first dog. Oh, was he? I didn't know that. Yes, I gotta let my phone go night-night. My phone is pissed. It's like a, a I swear it keeps coming up saying it. I, I don't even have one percent on the little ball, on the little um, thingy up there that tells you how many percents you have. I don't even have one percent. Right now it's just running off of the stupid, um, off the stupid, uh, charger and at any point it'll just go screw you you're not talking anymore <laughs> you know what i mean so it it's gonna die so um but i do think that i'm going to try and get on tomorrow evening um i'm gonna try really hard to get either on tomorrow evening or on sunday evening so if you guys will look out i will I'm going to try really hard. Okay? Um, so, sweet dream, Sunny. Mwah, mwah. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't believe it's been almost three hours. That is crazy. Time has just flown by. I really, really enjoy talking to you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are so freaking wonderful. We should figure out how to do split search. Yes, we should. Hopefully it doesn't work tomorrow when you come back on. Here, yeah, that's why. Okay, Katie. So difficult. Yes, it is sad, Michelle. So fun. I've had so much fun with you guys. Oh my goodness. You guys are so great. Thank you so, so much. It was awesome. Me and JoJo are going to try and do the um, snacks video tomorrow during the day so that I can upload that tomorrow evening. Um, so I, he got really mad going to bed tonight. I'm really sorry about that, guys. I'm super, super sorry about JoJo throwing a fit. Um, but he'll be back with us tomorrow to do his video. And he'll be just like normal, like nothing happened. So thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night, Sunny. Good night, Jamie. Good night, Katie. Bye, guys. Oh, you got all the kids' treats and bobs. Ah, bye, guys. Bye. I'm so, so.